Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and today we're going to talk about item meta. We're now inside our plugin we created in episode 4. It's about the item stacks and giving them to the players. And I did this because we need item stacks and we already have it set up over here. It's just an easy one. Uh, let me see the main uh, registry fans and it gives the players items on join. If you haven't seen it, check out episode 4. And uh, let's get started. So, to get started, I want to change the sword, because the sword is not that interesting. It's our starter skit, I want some nice starter title, and etc. Um, item meta is uh, like all the metadata that the item contains. So the sword, in this case the item stack sword, uh, contains all data about swords, so uh, damage, attack speed, uh, display name etc etc and we want to change that I want to change the display name I want to add a little lore and I want to set an enchantment so to do that uh, we get the item meta and we call it sword meta because it's the meta of our sword and we want to actually copy the item meta of the sword so we do sword dot get item meta because we do not want to create everything again for a stone sword. We just want the item meta for stone short and we sword and we want to edit it. So we do item meta uh, with the name sword meta and we get it from the sword. So we now have kind of a copy of the item meta of the sword. So Ctrl Shift O to import. And the first thing I want to do is I want to set the display name. It's quite easy. So we get sword meta and we do set display name and noob sword. Noob noob sword. Just like that. And what this does it we get sword meta so we get the copy of the meta of our sword. This is a copy, this is not the actual item meta. I will get back to that later. And we set the display name to noob sword. What you can do, of course, you can add chat color to let's say green or to bucket. So we now have noob sword with green. And next thing I want to do was add a little lore. And for that we need to have because lore can have multiple lines, you can have multiple lines of lore. And to do so we need an array list. An array list is like uh, an array array list yeah and we want to type string because we want to store multiple lines so we get the array list uh, of type string and we name it lore and that's a new array list of the type string just like this and ctrl shift out to import and then what we want to do is we want to add a line so lore dot add and we say this sort is for noobs exclamation mark and this means as we create an array so like a list of the type string so it contains all kinds of strings and uh, what we do is we add one line so we do not set the first line but we add the line this sort is for noobs and we add another line uh, add line so like this not like at all and enjoy your stay stay on our server just like this and what we now did is we created a lore list we added two lines but as you can see there's nothing with sort meta so we need to add the lore to sort meta so the sort meta come on sort meta dot set lore and then as you can see it wants a list of string and we do lore just like this so we now edit uh, the, the lore so this is the lore just add a little comments for the organization of your code we added uh, the name and we got the meta uh, next thing I want to do is I want to add an enchantment enchantment 
And to do that, we need to do short meta dot add enchantment. Enchant is the first one. And the first parameter, the first thing it wants is the enchantment type. So it's enchantment dot. And then I do not want arrow damage or anything at all. I want damage all because we want to give it sharpness. A little secret sharpness. And we want to give it one level of sharpness. So this is the enchantment, the second thing is the level, and the third thing is either true or false. And uh, what it says is like a sword can only have up to sharpness, let's say 5. And uh, what we want is if we add 10 levels, then we can say over here true, like ignore that maximum level. If we do false, it will not ignore the level. And this one will not work because level 10 is impossible on a short on a sword in this case. So what we do is because we only do one level, we want to ignore the the maximum because we will do not have to ignore the maximum I mean because we only do one level. And that's it. That now we added the enchantment. But as I told in the beginning, I sword meta is a copy of the meta of the sword. So the last thing we want to do is we want to set the meta so uh, we get sword again and then sword is not the meta is the item stack and we want to set item meta just like that and we want to set it to sword meta and that's it you now know how to get the item meta set the name add lore uh, through an array list and add an enchantment and let's go check it out if it works and see you in the server so we're inside Minecraft now, I've started up the server with our plugin. I've deleted the player data so I can see that I uh, joined for it, so that the server knows I joined for the first time. And let's go check it out if I get the items. Well, there you have it, or stone sword, or noob sword, the source for noobs. Enjoy your stay on a server with sharpness one. Really cool. And that's it for the fifth episode already. I really enjoy doing this, so if you enjoy watching me, or if you know uh, that this series really helps, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and don't forget to check out the Discord, because I'm really active on Discord, so you can ask me all kinds of questions over there, and I see you in the next episode.